What's going on guys? Disney World Annual Passes are returning, but at what price and how long? As well as the Disney Band Plus is coming to the Disney Cruise Line. Wait, what is the Disney Band Plus? Find out on this, 5 Minutes of Disney. What's going on guys? I'm Mr. Techbot and this is 5 Minutes of Disney, where I bring you some of the top Disney news within 5 minutes. Don't forget, if you like this content, hit that subscribe button along with that post notification bell. Shades of Green, which is the military only resort, has announced the walkway linking Shades of Green to the Grand Floridian and Polynesian Resort will be closing on May 1st, 2023. This is due to the road widening project on World Drive to four lanes with no crosswalk. Due to safety reasons, security is not allowing people to cross over to the Polynesian walkway. Guests that have confirmed reservations before the announcement on April 4th, 2023, can cancel without any cancellation fee. Now, please remember that Shades of Green does provide transportation options to guests, which include buses to TTC, where you can walk over to the Polynesian Resort, or you can also take a monorail from there. Guests can also drive and park for free at the Polynesian Resort, but you must have dining reservations. Lastly, there are rideshare options such as Uber or Lyft. Please keep this in mind if you are staying at this location in the near future. The Magic Band Plus technology that is used at Walt Disney World and Disneyland is now coming to the Disney Cruise Line, however, with a slightly different name. On Disney Cruise Line, it'll be the Disney Band Plus, and this will be on all ships this summer. You can purchase these on the boat for $34.99 or $44.99 depending on if you want solid colors or designs. Now you can also get the Disney Band Plus or the Magic Band Plus at Walt Disney World and Disneyland, but at the same time you can also use your Magic Band Plus that you already have for the Disney Cruise Line ships. Now Disney does have a reason that they are changing the name of this band where they do not have the rights to use Magic Band in some territories that Disney Cruise Line operates. Thus the name change. You will still be able to use the bands to unlock your stateroom, charge for souvenirs, and as well as onboard photos. They are also still waterproof and rechargeable. Now kids three and up can also use these bands at the kids club, on the ships, and also on Castaway K instead of the Oceaneers band. Lastly, there will also be test select sailings on the Disney Wish before they are officially on all ships this summer. Walt Disney World annual passes will be available for purchase once again soon. The passes will be available starting on April 20th, 2023. However, if you are a Disney Vacation Club member, you will get early access to these passes on April 13th, 2023. Also, remember that annual pass holders starting on April 18th will now be able to enter the parks after 2 p.m. without a Disney World reservation except for Magic Kingdom on Saturdays and Sundays. Now passes have gone up a little, but they are still at the four main levels as before. And Florida residents can still do a 0% APR monthly payment with a $205 down payment. The following levels and prices will be as such. The Incredit Pass will be for $1,399 plus tax or $108 per month for Florida residents which will have no blackout dates and you will also receive 20% off select dining and merchandise. There will be the Sorcerer Pass for $969 plus tax or $69 per month for Florida residents, which you will still need a reservation on most days. This pass is subject to blackout dates for select holidays along with the 20% off on select dining and merchandise. Next up, you have the Pirate Pass for $749 plus tax or $50 per month for Florida residents, which you will still need reservations on most days. This pass is subject to blackout dates for peak and holiday, along with you will also get the 20% off on select dining and merchandise. Lastly, there is the Pixie Pass for $399 plus tax or $19 per month for Florida residents, which you will need reservations most weekdays and all weekends are blacked out. This pass is subject to blackout dates for peak and holiday periods, along with you will also receive the 20% off select dining and merchandise. There are also options to add on to your passes, 
such as Disney Photo Pass downloads for an extra $99, and also the water park and sports option for also an extra $99. Now, before you start choosing your passes, remember that all four passes are available to Florida residents. However, for Disney Vacation Club members, it is only the Incredit Pass and this Sorcerer Pass will be available. Everyone else outside of the Disney Vacation Club members and Florida residents will only have the Incredit Pass options available. So please keep that in mind if you are outside of these groups. Lastly, Disney is advising that quantities of these passes will be limited and any of these pass types can become unavailable for purchase at any time. So if you are planning to get a pass, take advantage of this before they close again. Also, I want to know your opinion of these options, the prices, and the overall annual pass holder program in the comments down below. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for hanging out with me as I love talking a little Disney news. It's one of my favorite things to do. If you like this content, don't forget to hit that like button. Leave me a comment if you have any questions, concerns, or you just want to say hi. As well as never forget to hit that subscriber button if you have not done so already, along with that post notification bell right next to it. As I always like to say here at Mr. TechBot, do what you like, do what you love, and always, guys, never forget to unleash your inner nerd. Y'all have a good one. Later.